Hey guys, and welcome to yet another GZ Doom Builder tutorial. And today we're going to be covering how to make deep water in your Doomwad for things like lakes and little ponds and such, and other obvious things like that. So, as always, we'll just start by making a new map. We'll add a little select the line tool first. Add and a pretty nicely sized area. As you've probably noticed I always seem to like lining these little lines here up with these. I don't really know why. Just quickly throw in a player start and find the area that we want to be water. So I'm just going to make this. Now making water in GZ Doom Builder is pretty simple. Um, basically all you need to do is find how find where you want the water to be up to, like where you want the surface of the water to be. So I'm just gonna say mine is gonna be here. So the height of that is a hundred and forty four. Alright. Sorry, the height of that is minus 16. So I'm just going to make the floor a little bit lower than minus 16. So that's going to be the bottom of the water body. Let me make this a bit bigger. Now what we want to do is head out here and just make what we call a dummy sector. And just set the floor height to minus 16. I'm going to change the texture of the floor to water. And now what you want to do is press T for things, head into the things menu and head on over to Sector actions, I think. No. Head on over to um, the ZDoom folder and scroll down until you find the water zone. And just press OK. I'm just going to make it face that way. You don't have to, but you know, I'm going to do it anyway. Now you want to right click on any one of these lines, but only one of them. Um, head into the actions menu, go down to transfer, and transfer heights, and just set the sector tag to 1, and you don't need to use any of these options in this particular case, and then just press S to head to the sector tool, and go here and set the tag to 1. Now this is a bit unnecessary but I'm just going to set, well, not not really, if you're making like a full proper wad then you do this. I'm just going to set some textures to make it look nicer. So I'll speed this bit up and I'll be back with you afterwards. Alright, we're back, I've set up all the textures, and I have just remembered something that I realised I probably should have said back in my first ever video. When I use Doom 1 and Doom 2, um, mainly because um, Doom 1 has some useful fence textures that Doom 2 doesn't, but that's more or less it. Um, it can cause some errors, um, as I'll show you. I just thought I'd throw this warning in. 
down here in the error section, using more than one official wad is not recommended. And this is because it causes texture conflicts, weapon conflicts and such. Well, not so much weapon conflicts, but more texture conflicts. I haven't had any problems with it myself, but it probably can cause some problems, so just be just be careful when using more than one IWAD. Anyway, um, now wh what we can do is... Uh, I just remembered I probably... probably I've set the tag as one. I don't know, better safe than sorry, am I right? Right, now if we jump into Doom... I swear if I'm running in f full screen. Okay, I'm not. Now you see <laughs> what I've done here. I don't even know. I know why the bottom is like this. Um, basically, if I just turn on no clip and head out to this dummy sector, that that's um, basically what the underneath the water looks like, and this is actually what the floor looks like here. I mix them up. I keep doing that. So whatever this, whatever you set this floor texture to is whatever the top of this looks like normally. But you can see we can swim around but the colour is a little bit off. First things first I'm going to fix the textures because I have done this so many times I completely messed up on it. That's what I'm going to do. Dummy sectors on this side. Also, I don't know why the textures along there were doing that, but I'll show you. This will have fixed it now. Now the surface of the water is the water texture, and the floor is what I wanted wanted it to be. Um, I have no clue why that's doing that. It's never really happened before, but it doesn't matter too much. You can just about jump across. You can make it so the water damages you. Uh, you can probably make it so that if you're in there for too long, I forgot to fix that. If you're in there for too long, the water does start to damage you slowly, like a drowning effect. But I personally haven't found out how to do that yet. If I do, I will definitely say, and definitely say how. But now we've got to get onto the texture of the sector here. So what you want to do first is give this sector a tag, so two, because one's already taken. And now you want to head into your script, <coughs> type in hashtag include quotes z common dot acs end quote. And now we want to set type uh, add script one and set it as open. Um, add little braces and type in here sector underscore set color in brackets we want the sector tag which is two so that links it to the um, actual water sector we want zero red zero red 50 green about 200 blue <coughs> compile don't forget the semicolon like I always do when I'm coding. Compile the script, just press Ctrl S or click the compile button. I'll drag that to the side in case I want to change anything and we'll jump into the game. <coughs> now this looks all normal above the water. When above it it's all fine, you know. But look, now that I'm under it, it's a nice deep blue colour. Now I'd probably normally make it a bit lighter than this, say I'd probably set the blue to about 125 so that the blue is a little bit lighter and it's a little more turquoise so you can see a bit better so if we just put 125 that's 1250 I'm, I'm just wonderful with numbers now if we jump back into the game and head under not too much of a noticeable difference but different nonetheless and a little easier to see you can swim around, you can sp sprint swim jump out 
Now all sounds under the water are like slightly muffled, so it actually sounds like you're under the water, which is pretty good. Taken damage, enemies above water are muffled. Everything. Selecting walls. That's muffled. <laughs> sounds pretty funny. But um I'm just gonna quickly show you what happens if you set the um sector colour to instead of this sector, if you set it to this sector, I should just wanna show you what's happened. So if we what happens. So if I set this to one and compile the script and then run it. It does this so you above the water is has the underwater look, so when I'm above this water it look it has like the deep blue underwater f effect and then when I go under it looks normal. So it's like the other way around. I mean if you're making some strange some game based in some strange universe and like I don't know, maybe maybe outside is underwater and what would normally be underwater isn't, then you know, that would work, but just for the sake of normality and reality. Where did the script go? Just set this to the um deep water sector, sector two. And that <coughs> is how you create deep water in Doom with the effect of being underwater and such. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, be sure to leave a few a few decent suggestions for any future videos I should make in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out.